You from Parks and Rec? Yeah. I'm here to show you around. Oh, nice to meet you, ma'am. Uh, what's your name? Ethel Beavers. Follow me. Okay, this is you. Whoa, double computers? I get my own office phone. Hello, Wall Street. Buy more stocks. Now, this phone kind of smells like a butt. Try not to move things around, because technically speaking, this is still a crime scene. Oh, here's your name tags. Here. Ethel, this shirt is from Theory. Name tags make holes. I'm not wearing this. Do what you want. Bye, Ethel. Damn it. Remind me next time to ask her where she was when Lincoln got shot. Time to get those old ladies to do my work for me. How? By shining down on them with the Haverford charm ray. Wow, 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 wow. Well, well, well. If it isn't Ethel Beavers. What's up, beautiful? Julianne Moore just called. She wants her hair back. Nobody named Julian called. Never mind. I just need to ask you a couple of questions. One, can you help me out with this project we're doing? And two, will you please invite me to your 30th birthday party? What are you doing? I'm making a test call to your phone to make sure it's working so you don't miss any more calls. You know what? Don't bother. Maybe I'll just find an open window and plumb it to my dead. Okay. You two are just the cutest things on four legs. <laughs> but why so much black? It's like you're going to a funeral. She's got a point, babe. So marry her then. <gasps> oh, I wish. Hey, sorry to interrupt the love fest, but could you give me that folder there, please, Ethel? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Why you gotta be like that, Ethel? Looks like someone got up on the wrong side of the crib. <laughs> Stop laughing, Muriel. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I don't know why Leslie Nope's on trial, and the Beavers did it! Okay. Beavers did it! Sit down. I will hold myself in contempt of the court! So, Ethel, you've been to a million of these ethics hearings. What do you think my chances are? I'd say it's 50-50. You want to put money on it, I'll give you 60-40 against. Is it ethical for a court stenographer to bet on the outcome of a hearing? You tell me. You're the one on trial. Miss Swanson, do you, as you claimed, have evidence linking Leslie Nope and Ben Wyatt to lawbreaking? Absolutely. I have several photographs that will definitively prove... May I remind you that you are under oath, and if you lie, I will fire you and have you prosecuted. Nothing. They will definitively prove nothing. Well, you cut me off. <laughs> I don't have any evidence. Oh, Chris, so silly. Okay, bye, guys. Leslie, have fun with this trial. Yay. You know, the meeting that Ben and I had, it's on the record. You should take a look at the last page of the transcript. Mr. Wyatt, Chris, for God's sake, would you mind not jumping for a little while? Mr. Traeger, sorry, Ben, but... This is how I fight depression. Okay, fine, I'll stop. Thank you. Okay, so, you are prepared to resign, effective immediately, and take full responsibility for all the events that transpired at Lowell Sebastian's memorial? Mr. Wyatt, that is correct. That is correct. Mr. Traeger, okay, fine. This makes me sadder than I previously thought humanly possible, but I accept your resignation. Can I ask you one more question? Was all of this, all the, the sneaking around, the scandal, losing your job, was, was it worth it? Yes. It was. Because I love Leslie. I want to be with her, and I don't want to hide the way I feel about her anymore. So, yeah, it was worth it, because I'm in love with Leslie. No. Mr. Traeger, that was beautiful. I'm literally crying and jumping. Crying noise, crying noise, nose blow. Mr. Wyatt, it's going to be okay. Mr. Traeger. <laughs> oh. Let it out, I guess. In transcript. Ethel? Ethel, could you please read page 132 of the official testimony? Ethel Beavers, the official record has now annoyingly been reopened so that Leslie Nope can make a statement. Leslie Nope, let the record state that I, Leslie Nope, love Ben Wyatt. I love him with all of my heart. Did you get that? Ethel Beavers, yes, I got it. Thank you, Ethel.
Can I get a ride home? It's freezing. Miss Beavers, this is official police business. I hope we didn't wake you up. It's after 10 o'clock. I've been asleep for four hours. What do you want? We need you to sign this. It's a marriage license. Ethel, is it Robert? No, go back to bed. Oh, is that your husband? I'm not married. I was on a date tonight. It went well. He's sleeping over. Cool. It'd really mean a lot if you sign it. It's for Leslie Nope and Ben Wyatt. I think you know them? They dragged me out in the freezing cold once so they could tell each other I love you. It was annoying. Oh, thank you so much. You have got an amazing house and a really cool nightgown and seem to be super good at dating. Yeah, so can we adopt you as our grandma? Fine. <laughs> okay, cool. we love you, grandma. We love you, grandma. <laughs> Next order of business, the Fun in the Sun Act introduced by Councilwoman Nope. <laughs> Councilman, I move that the bill be read in its entirety. Ms. Beavers? Fine. If, if you would just slow down a little, then I could arrange balloons or a flower cake or a bouncy castle or something. Ah, Ethel Beavers, we would like a marriage license, please and thank you. What's the date of the wedding? Today. It's a bit unusual, but we Don't both... care. Leslie Nope, would you please be my matron of honor? Diane, you have no idea what that means to me. She gets it. Let's go. Well, this is like a waking nightmare of happiness. Um, I need to get some flowers. Uh, why don't you hold this colorful bouquet of highlighters? Rice. I need to find some rice. I need to throw some rice. Why is there no rice in this municipal government building? I found a justice guy. These are the marrying people. This is Carl. Hello, Carl. My fiance and I would like to get married right now, right here. Haven't I done a quickie wedding for you before? It's certainly possible, but this one's going to stick. I need your full names for the license. Ronald Ulysses Swanson. Diane Tammy Lewis. Tammy? Your middle Just name Just kidding, it's Elizabeth. Let's go, Carl. Hey, hey, let's pump the brakes, Carl, OK? Belay that order, Carl. Shortest possible ceremony. I'm tired of not being married to this woman. Miss Beavers, if you please. Yesterday, 9.02 AM, annoying ass Leslie has given me another annoying ass task. Number sign stickers, number sign bitch boss. <laughs> September 25th. Twitter poll, on a scale of 98 to 100, how annoying is Leslie Nope? Because you know it ain't less than 98. All my number sign True Blood fans know what's up. Page after page of personal attacks on Leslie Nope. Prospects for new Pawnee best friend. Donna Meagle, confident, worldly, we go way back. April Ludgate, vivid imagination, young and vibrant. Shauna Malway Tweep, pretty, fragile, makes terrible life decisions, a real fixer upper. But look, it's not like Anne was doing so hot when I met her. Ethel Beavers, bit of a dark horse, crotchety, but probably wise. And then we got Evelyn, AKA fake Anne. I don't know her last name. Honestly, we just needed bodies. Ooh, I love watching Russian traffic accidents on YouTube while I play children's music at the wrong RPM. I like beauty pageants. Everyone is so happy and perfect. I like diagnosis murder and uh, skin flicks. Can anybody top me off? The correct answer for favorite TV show is fr Ethel Beavers, we need this filed, please. We've gone digital. Get with the time, do what I... And of all the places in Pawnee, I'm gonna miss the fourth floor the most. And now here to say a few words is Mayor Gunderson's longtime friend and co-worker, Ethel Beavers. This is gonna be so sad. They worked together for a long time. I'll be brief. Walter Gunderson and his wife had an open marriage. It kept him happy, kept his wife happy. Hi, Evelyn. And it definitely kept me happy. What is happening? Because for 46 wonderful years, he spent night after night exploring every nook and cranny of my body. Oh. Go up, you prudes. We're all adults. My only regret is that I never told him how I really felt. So I'll say it now. I loved that man. And not just because he was a dynamite leg. Good night, you animals.